Have you spoken to your friend uh, in the last uh, four or five days, Robert? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, Les is a great friend of mine. I've known Les for over 20 years, and, and I, I could say unequivocally, I do not know of a finer gentleman or a more dynamic CEO than Les Moonves. Well, given that perspective, uh, do you believe he will therefore survive uh, this current crisis he faces? You know, Wilfred, that's up to the CBS board. I, I think the board has taken the right posture to thoroughly investigate the allegations of sexual misconduct. Uh, my only advice to the board would be that they do whatever they're going to do to get the uh, results of their investigation and to do it quickly. That's fair to less. That's fair to the uh, people who made, the individuals who made the allegations, and it's, it's fair to the shareholders uh, that there be a decision made by the board as to how they will deal with these uh, charges of sexual misconduct. If you were on this board, Robert, would you have elected to keep him on as CEO while the independent investigation is ongoing? I think a lot of people were surprised that he didn't step aside, at least temporarily, to let this play its course, come up with some sort of definitive answer as to not be a distraction for investors and for people inside the company. You know, Sarah, I think that's probably the toughest question that those guys on the, and women on the board are wrestling with. Uh, because you have to bring to uh, these allegations uh, uh, your own background and knowledge of Wes as a, as a person. Uh, you've got to do the investigation by independent attorneys to determine the credibility of the allegations. And at that point, you make a decision. So I would have to argue that uh, in, in some ways, You've got to approach this a little bit of, uh, even though Les has said he, the, he made some inappropriate, he had some inappropriate behavior early on, I, I still think you've got to go with some sense of, of is there a belief in innocent before guilty? And then the next question, which is the one I think this whole country and the media industry and the whole country has to, has to discuss, what is the quintessential accountability that someone has ultimately must, must confront on their uh, behavior, inappropriate behavior, whether it's, it's man against woman, man against man, woman against woman. That's the quintessential question I think this country has to grapple with, the men and women have to grapple with, is how do you determine the level of accountability for the allegations if proven to be correct? Uh, it seems to me that apologies don't work and may not be appropriate in certain cases. Monetary compensation may or may not be satisfactory to the, uh, to the victim. Uh, total but shame and firing could be considered too harsh by others, particularly depending on the body of work going forward. So this is a, this is a philosophical slash uh, moral slash, in some cases, legal dilemma that I think uh, corporations and are going to have to address. It, it is a big dilemma. There's no doubt about it, uh, Robert. But given the statement that we've seen from Mr. Moonves included uh, an apology within it. Now, that apology was not an admission of guilt. But does that mean moving forward it is hard for him to appear 100 percent innocent? And in this current environment, uh, does that mean the board may be forced to act because of that communication, that PR issue, as opposed uh, to anything more fundamental than that? Well, Wilfred, I think you're right. Boards have to, boards can't be absolutely fair. I mean, you could argue that a jury can be fair because they're adjudicating for the society as a whole and there's a body of law that helps guide what they're able to do or not do. In, in punishing a particular crime or a particular uh, activity. A board has to deal with the, the shareholders and people who are concerned principally about one thing and one thing only, not the moral equation, but about the financial equation. So as much as you know, uh, my good buddy Les may apologize and, and as I said, have shown to be a, an excellent CEO, uh, there could be other issues that drive the board to make a decision. So I, I, I go back to what I said earlier, that the board has to do this quickly. They've got to find a law firm. I don't know why it would take that long to find 
a really good law firm. And then the people have already come forward in the article in the New Yorker, so they seem ready to talk. You've got to do some background checks on all the facts. And Les has already admitted to some yeah. culpability uh, on the behavior. Uh, so they owe it to Les, and they owe it to the company and to the, uh, uh, to the Wait, people who made the charges Robert, to do something quickly. Very quickly, would you be a buyer of CBS's stock without Les Moonves making the decisions at the top on programming and everything else that has led to the company's great success? I'm a strong believer in Les as the CEO of that company. And if Les were not in the seat of that company, I don't think I would be in the market to buy CBS stock.